Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. I'm at FloorTech in Dalton, and I'm walking the halls looking for new innovation, and I've come up against William B. Shevel with Syncorables. Willem, how you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. Tell our listeners a little bit about what you're offering here as far as an underfloor sensor device. Well, basically what we have done, we have developed a pressure-sensitive underlayment that can go under any commercial surface, like carpets, uh, wood, uh, vinyl, whatever. And it actually measures footsteps, so we can see at any given time how many people are where in a building and how they're moving. And that allows us to save energy, to give input to security systems. And the most important thing is that we give real-time feedback on how floor space is utilized. And with that information, you can optimize building processes or uh, business processes, etc. This is amazing. I mean, this is what they're talking about when they talk about the building in the future because this allows a building to know if there's people on certain floors and how many people there are on certain floors and what kind of movement's going on so they know how to control HVAC and lighting. I mean, there's a countless number of things that you can use this for, right? Correct, correct. But I think it's more than just that. I think what, what it's interesting is that we actually can see what's happening on the floor so we know how people are moving throughout a building. And that will really, like a retailer, it really helps you not only to save energy or have at night a, a good data input for your security system, but it also allows you to optimize your business process because you know how people are moving in your store. You can have interactive displays, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, in other words, if you've got a display and you're in retail and and you see certain people walk into certain areas, then you know that that area is being more attractive to the consumer than something else. So that's a, it. Kind of helps you to merchandise that. Correct. It? So we can actually have interactive displays. We see the difference between a child and a grown-up so you can have different messages but we can also see dwell time so we can also tell the guys advertising how much time people spend in front of the advertisement and how many people actually pass by and in healthcare you can tell whether somebody laid down or fell on the floor right well that's the other thing but the healthcare industry what we are saying is that we could give a night nurse an ipad and connect whatever 10 or 15 rooms to the ipad we could see movement in the bed so you can calibrate the floor you put your furniture on top you tell the floor this is zero any changes afterwards are measured so we could see the patient moving in the bed we could see the patient coming out of the bed walking and falling so the workload will be less but the reaction time of the nurse will be much faster all right so we're in dalton and i know you're working in conjunction with many of the floor covering companies so will this work with almost any type of flooring Yes, except what we haven't tested yet are the big marble tiles because you need some flexibility in the floor to measure the pressure. But all the commercial available floor finishes, it works with it, so it's not a problem. E- even porcelain tile? Depending on the size, but the smaller ones we do, it works. It works. So at this early stage, I understand you're working with certain flooring companies to develop this so, so that you can either build it in the floor covering or offer it as an underlayment, correct? Well, for the time being, we, we do offer it as an underlayment. For the matting, individual mats is something we also do. There we are looking at integrating into existing products. And software-wise, we are Microsoft partner, so we enable people to have access to software which is working with the Azure cloud of Microsoft. We just generate the data, we send it to the cloud, and the other integrators can pick out the data what you want. So we actually offer full systems. And you're a Dutch company? No, we're an American company. I'm Dutch, but okay. I, I always had a feel, I had the idea, because I'm from the building industry, if I create an, a, a kind of a tablet that you could walk on, and from that you could send messages to a building management system, you would have something great. I didn't know how to build it until I saw Andrew on Kickstarter, and he developed something that I thought, if I can change this around, it might work. And that's how the company started, I think, February 2015. Andrew, who are you talking about? Andrew is our uh, CTO. He has a PhD, and he developed the material. So it's, we don't really have sensors. We have a material that senses pressure. And we do that at the moment 340 times per square yard, but we can easily double it. So we can be very, very accurate. But because it's not individual sensors, but the material itself, it's, 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 a, it's a complete new technology in terms of sensing. Now, if somebody wants to find out more about this because they've heard this interview, how can they get a hold of you? Well, they can visit our website, www.syncorables.com. All right, so Syncorables is spelled S-E-N-C-O-R-A-B-L-E-S. Correct. Okay, Willem, it's great to talk to you. Again, been talking to William B. Scheibel with Syncorables from Floortech, and you've been listening to Kempar and Floorelli.net.